Okay, good, good day students. Um, today we are going to learn the construction for those that are in GSS3 only. I believe you all know my name. Right, so last week we learned something about the area in the home and environment, bath rectangle and uh, other shapes. Okay, so the first all uh, is basically a what? Constructions. I know when you were in the GSS2, they taught you construction of angles. So in GSS3, it's like a, a continuation of GSS2 from the construction. So I believe you are familiar with the instrument used for construction. You know this one here? This one is a ruler. Not very long ago, you get this one, call it meter rule. Uh, to measure lines eh, or to draw lines. This one is called the what? Rotator. Eh? We used to measure what? Angles. And then, this one is called pair of compasses. Call it what? Pair of uh, compasses. So, uh, as we begin today, we make use of yesterday what? Instruments to construct various what? Angles. So, the first uh, subtopic that we have today is bisection of line what? Segment. What to draw a line and uh, bisect it, uh, divide it into two equal parts. Mm? We call that one perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector, bisect it 90 degrees. So let's draw a line. Uh. So all of you will be set. Mm? Now bring out these three things for your mathematical set, for your math set. Bring the title out, your ruler, and your pair of compasses. Make sure that your pencil is well sharpened. Uh. Sharpen your pencil with your blade. Don't use uh, that sharpener so that the mouth will what will be well pointed and pierce someone. All right. Then do not use eraser frequently because it might make your work to be rough. Okay. So um, think uh, these are the precautions necessary for construction to take place. So let's start. I want to draw. I uh, want to bisect a line segment. I want to bisect a line segment. So what do you do? All right, bring out a ruler. All of you are familiar with line, how to measure line, it's not a new thing. So measure out line AB. Just draw line AB. The ruler, measure out, let's see, 8 centimeters. From this point, I see it. From this point, don't start from here, start from where you have this zero, uh, this zero mark. Then down to your 8, because the ruler is calibrated in the Centimeter, millimeter. What use the one that's been measured in the centimeter? I follow it. So if I measure out in centimeter, that's only zero. This is what I measure out my what eight centimeter. This is my eight centimeter. Uh, I call it my what A B. Let me just draw a mark here, point here, to represent center A and uh, B respectively. If you are following me. The essence of this um, sort of is to bisect any full line. You can even draw the line diagonally. You can draw it like this. Uh, you can draw it like this. Or you can draw it like this. Or any I want to draw it line. Provided the line is being divided into two equal words. Parts. I get it. With. So to divide the line. I want to divide this line into two equal parts. So that since the line that is drawn is 8 cm. That is from here to here is what? 8 cm. What will divide this line into two more parts? That is bisection of a line segment. This is line segment. What will this line? What do you do? You now bring out uh, your pair of compasses. Eh? This one, okay. My own is uh, so half 40. Eh? Uh, I know fish chop. You may be less with fish chop, okay? So, you open your pair of compass, I see it. Eh? That pin, this is my pin, this one, I have to hold the board. I don't cannot stand. I see it. So, that pin, you hold is a pin. Mm? Then, here, yeah, this is where you fix your pencil. Make sure that your pencil, the level of your pencil is not bigger than what? Your, um, the, the level of the pin. Do you understand? Make sure that they are at equal size. Or the pencil should work, it need to be shorter than this one so that you can be able to work, construct. Do you understand? You now fix it, then 
tighten it very well, eh? clamp it so that it will be strong, you can hold the pencil firmly. Okay. So go to what the by said this line, to divide this line. What to divide it? Go to center A, like this point A, this point, point A. That is where you fix your pin. Now put your pin at point A. Are you seeing it? Eh? This is where your pencil will be. Oh. Put, uh, put it at point A. Extend it more than half of this line. Are you seeing it? It's more than half of the line. This is half of the line AB using your initiative. Then extend it more than half of the line AB. Do you understand? You now bisect the front of the line. Bisect here. Draw an arc there. Let me assume that this is how it's going to look like. Draw an arc. Draw an arc up here. That is this line. Draw an arc here. I see it. Draw an arc. Then now come down. And also draw another one. Draw another one. You draw one up. You draw one down. Make sure that it's more than half of the line. If you then, without shaking the size, that is the radius, without altering the radius, go to point B or center B. We have already used point A. Now go to B. Don't shake it to that same size that used to draw this to us. Put that center B. Then by saying this one, cross this one, and now come again and work. Also cross this one. I see it. Cross this one, come down, and cross this one. Understand? Uh -huh. That is, you cross this one and come down and you draw this one. I see it. You draw this one and you draw this one. You draw this one. You draw this one. Guys, you are my setting. You are my setting where the two arcs that you drew before, and uh, those previous arcs, you are setting back from this center B. So, what do you now do? This is where your ruler now comes in. You now use your ruler. Uh, Note the meeting point of the two arcs, this center where the two arcs intersect, eh? the meeting point, and this point, the middle, note the middle, okay? You now use ruler, draw a straight line that passes through the middle, understand? Now draw a straight word, line. With this, you have bisected line words, A, B. You can call this point where these two arc meet, call it point C, and here point word, D. Hope you understand. So we have been able to bisect what a given line what segment that is line AB. Line C D is one bisecting it, dividing it into two parts. So that from year to year we be four centimeter for measurement. And from year to year, we also what? Four centimeter. It's not less than or greater than four. It's just exactly what? Four centimeter. So let's continue from there. Hope you understand. So we are through with the uh, the first uh, subtopic, which is bisection of a uh, line uh, segment. Hope you understand. So, to something like this. This angle between them, like the like, like previous arc, this angle is an what? 90 degrees. That is uh, this very place. It's an what? 90 degrees. That is the angle between them. is 90 degrees. Here is an 90, an 90. This one form of constructing an 90 what? Degree. By the time we get there, I'll teach you this pattern and the other pattern that looks like a base form. Okay? Now, control of uh, angle 60 and uh, 30 degree. Want to construct angle 60 and what? Angle 30. Alright. We can't construct angle 30 direct. We have to construct 60 first, then divide 60 by 2 to get what? 30. How do we do that? Repeat what you did in the, the first uh, subtopic. You understand? So, if I were you, I will draw out, just measure, draw any line of your choice. It will be 5, 6, 7, 8 centimeters. Or from 5 and above. So, measure out 5 centimeters. You have your own account at 5 centimeters from here to here. Let me see, yes, 5 centimeters from my own room. This one is from here to this place, 5 cm. Or you can even use 7 cm, so that line will be very long. This point and this point is center A and center what B. The length of my line is 7 what? cm. Want to draw, want to construct and what? 60 degree. So that inside 60, we'll now construct what? 30. Do you understand? You can't construct 30 degree straight, you have to construct 60 degree first. Alright, so what do you now do? Now bring out your pair of. Uh, your pair of Compasses. You're going to put compasses. Alright. Are you seeing what I'm doing? Now, you can consult your system on top of A or on top of where 
Take of B, that is at center A or center B. All you need to do is just fix your pencil back to your pair of compass. If you have done that, place it at point A, this center A, this point. You want to use that to construct. Place it at point A. I see it at point A. Then open this more. Any readjust of your choice, don't let it <laughs> increase to one half of the line. Or just small readjust. Small readjust means small size. Eh? You open this one small, very small size. Draw an arc to cut this line. I see it. Put it at this point. Draw an arc to cut line AB. Okay, you are you draw an arc. So let me assume that this arc now. You draw an arc to cut this line. Look at the arc. Now draw the arc. Draw the arc at this point. Eh? Just open this one small. Don't open like so. Not small radius. Put it here and draw an arc. We are using center A. Then, where the arc meets line AB, this is where the arc cuts line AB. The arc must cut line AB. Go to that point, that is this point. Let's call this point. Point what? C. Put that point C where the arc cuts across line AB. At this point C. Without shaking this one, don't shake the previous one, don't alter the radius, the size. Without shaking it, eh? the one that used to draw this arc from this point A, put it at point what? C. And draw another arc to call this one. Draw arc. I see it. Uh, let me use my marker. So draw another arc to call this one. I see it. Another arc to call this one. If you have done that, you now use, uh, you now use your, your, your ruler. Now use your ruler to join this arc where the two arc meet from this your point A and this point, this point A and this one. You join it to what a straight line. Now join it to a straight uh, line. This angle is called angle what 60 degree. Hope you are following this angle what 60 degree. Inside this angle 60 degree. We can as well construct and with 30 watt degree. I said it in the beginning. Okay? So I don't construct another 60 degree again. I'm going to use the 60 to get and with 30. What do I do? And I divide 60 into two proper parts. Now watch. How do we want to bisect 60? What do we want? To bisect the uh, bisect and what? And with 60 degree to get what? 30. That means 60 divided by 2 will give us what? 30 degree. How do we bisect angle? This angle that you have drawn, eh, look at what we do. You open your pair of uh, compass, watch you. Eh, let me call here A, B, C. This is what? Point D. Like this point should be point what? D, where this line passes through this arc. Point D. So we have point C and point D. Point C and point D is the size of the angle what? 60 degrees. How do you know that it is 60 degrees? You use your to measure angle, you place it at this 90 degree. This is 90 degree. Place it at point A. I see it at point A. Let this point in your plateau be at this center A. You now measure, then let this last line in your plateau follow line A, B. All of them will be the same line. Look at this line. My own. This line follows line what? A, B. Then this point is of A. Then I now count 60 degree. If I count the 60 from right to left, you are going to use the number or the, or the angles under the plateau, not the angles on top, but use the angles under. Here is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Your 60 degree was 4 along this line. If it's 59 plus 20, you are wrong. The 60 degree, you follow this angle 60. This one under here. This angle what? 60 degree, you follow this one. So you must measure after construction to be sure. That it is 60 watt degree. Here, place here at 90. The middle, here, yeah, then come from here, 60 degree. This line follows here. So, what if I set the 60, you get 30. All you need to do is to state the size of your CD. The size of your CD. Put it at point C, eh? your pair of compass at point C. Extend it to D. I see it. I am taking the size of CD, that is this one, the size of what? CD, this size, take the size. Then at point C, 
Now we're going to use point C and what? Point what? Point D for the bisection. So I am using point C first after taking the size. I see it. I take the size and now I set the front, the front of this angle, like this place, and now I set here. Then I now move it, go to point D. So I see point C and point D. At point D, fix it there. Then by set this arc back, draw this arc like this one, by set it like this. If you have done that, then you now use ruler from this point A, from this point A, draw a line that passes through the midpoint of the arc. You now draw a line to pass through the midpoint of the arc. From here, draw a line. This line that you have drawn has divided this angle 60 into two equal parts. 60 divided by 2 give you 30. So here you hold 30 degree, here you hold another 30 what degree. So this is angle 30 and 30. Or rather, I can choose to put a 30 degree inside. Here is so 30 what degree. So at 30 plus 30 give us the full angle what 60 degree. So this is how to control angle what 30 degree. Oh, that is taken. Do you understand? Alright, so now construct angle 120 degree. And 120 degree. Alright, so the next sort of it is what? Construction of angle 120 what degree. I've taught you how to construct 60 and 30. I also learned how to bisect the given line segment. That line segment, that is the first one that you did today, A. It's also called angle 90 degree. So let's construct angle 120 degree. What do you do to construct 120 degree? Eh? Follow the same uh, principle to draw a line. Just draw any line of your choice from 5 cm and above. Let's say line A, B, let it be. Let me use this one, this line. That is my own road. I can even use any setting that I like from 5 and above. So this is A, B. Let me call my own 9 cm from 0 to 9. 9 cm. If you have done that, what to draw angle 120 degree? You now pick your what? Your uh, pair of compasses. Are you there? Have you done that? Then you can use center A or center what? B to draw your 120 degree. Let me use center B because before I, I use center A. So center, are you seeing it? Go to center B. Use any size of your choice. We don't extend it very wide, just small radius. Eh? Just point B. Draw a semicircle. Put at point B. Draw a semicircle at point B. Draw a semicircle. It's cut across like this. A semicircle. Draw a semicircle. If you have done that, you now extend this line with a ruler. Extend this line with a ruler. Extend this line with what? A ruler. After that, then this extension, this line that I have extended, I don't know if I call it point uh, D or so, okay, point C. From this point, I see it because what I did was to put it at center B and draw a semicircle. Semicircle move aside a line, so I have to extend the line to meet the semicircle here. So, with that same radius, don't reduce it, don't cut it. Put it at center C and what? By set this, your semicircle, cut it back at center C, this point, this point, center C, where the semicircle meets line A, B. So, cut it from here. Okay, let me assume that uh, okay, from here, just by set it, hmm? by set the pencil. If you have done that, you now use uh, your ruler to join it. Use your ruler and join from this point to this place. It was passed through the, mid the middle, from the center to where the arc passes. So, from here, from this point down to this place, it's an 120 watt degree. How do you know if it's an 120? I told you, use a what? Your rotation to measure. Push that center B, measure 120. I see it. Measure 120 at center what? B, at center B. Measure, if I say 120, if you measure from left to right, use the values of the angles of. We are using the angles of. If you measure from uh, right to left, use the angles that are below. Okay, so the angles are both now 
0, 10, 20, this, 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 100, 110, 120 degrees. I think I said that the line is upon what? 120. Are you seeing it? This line is 120. Are you seeing it now? 120. So from here now to this place, this last line was follow this line. This last line was follow this one. This is what? 120 degree. Alright. So even the other one self, you can still measure it. If you measure it again, like I said earlier, this is 60. The 30 degree will pass. I see the 30 degree. The 30. That is this line that I, I do. It's 30 degree. Alright. So we are going to continue from here next week. Your assignment is to practice these ones that I have drawn. I get it. Practice how to present line segment, how to construct angle 60 and 30, and how to construct angle 120 degree. We will continue from here next week. Alright, bye bye, friends.